In today's equity index futures markets, let's take a look at the S&P 500 futures as they're realizing some selling pressure today. We're seeing them down about three and a half percent. And today's price action is now pushing them down to the lowest levels of the year, currently right around 41.35 as uh, selling pressure across the board today when you look at all the major equity index futures markets reversing yesterday's move higher and now uh, when you look at several of the equity index futures markets we are pushing down to the lowest level of the year i think some of the driving factors today you have to point to number one uh, the inflation data this morning uh, we continue to see inflation remaining elevated that's causing concerns in the uh, equity markets and other asset classes as well as to how the Fed's going to move uh, with interest rates. And we're just seeing that play out in the interest rate market where we did see yields rise somewhat today, as well as earnings. And uh, overall, earnings are looking more and more like they're disappointing, uh, at least on the top end numbers, and also some of the guidance moving forward. So those things, I think, are some of the factors contributing to why we did see a reversal of yesterday's move higher, because, again, we got a little bit of a surprise yesterday from positive earnings, but then overnight, uh, some dis disappointing earnings, particularly from Amazon, pushing, uh, I think, the equity index futures markets lower today or helping to, to push the equity index futures lower. Now, when you look at the general trends, we are seeing um, most of the major averages now moving to uh, new yearly lows. Uh, the only one that hasn't would be the Dow, still holding above the March lows. But when you look at the S&P 500, you look at the NASDAQ, and when you look at the Russell, we are seeing them now down to the lowest levels of the year with the selling pressure in today's session.